I just got home from work. It's seven o'clock at night, and I had an idea that I wanted to try on my laser. So behind me, the P3 is engraving an image on a piece of plywood. What image, you might ask? I was a teenager in the 90s, which means that we had magic eyes. If you were around in the 90s, you probably remember magic eyes. I know that they're still around. I think they peaked in popularity in the 90s or maybe even the early 2000s. These were everywhere. You couldn't go to a mall without seeing these on display. It's an image that's a stereogram. Old time stereograms were the two-sided images side by side. At some point, they evolved from those side by side images into these computer generated stereograms. And they're fascinating. So if you pause the video right here, you should be able to see a picture of a hole two layers deep with the word hole inside of it. Fascinating thing about stereograms is, is that you don't need the original image to make them work. This is just a screen capture in print from Facebook. And you guys should be able to see this no trouble. I drew on it to give you an idea of what it should look like. You can, you can make this one do its thing. It'll look a little weird with the white outline that I put on it, but it might help you see exactly what you're trying to look for and how it's two halves of an image that are together. Since a stereogram isn't, isn't something that's embedded in the digital file itself, meaning you could take a picture of a stereogram and it'll still work. For instance, I took a picture on my phone of that same stereogram, and if you zoom in, you should be able to make this do the same thing, which is a phone capture of an image from my computer. So if that's all true, and it all works, then in my head that means that the image can degrade and still make a valid stereogram. Which is what I'm doing here. I'm engraving a piece of plywood with that same image on my laser. So I don't know if you paused at that point, but if you did, you might be able to see that image. But I think I might be able to do better. The X-Tool P3 actually has three different lenses available for the laser. The medium lens, which is basically the, the generalist. It can do pretty much everything. Large lens, which allows it to cut through thicker material. And then it's got a small lens, which is supposed to be for more fine detail. So with the small lens installed, I changed the settings just a tiny bit. Uh, I increase the lines per centimeter and I increase the speed. I'm not altering this image. I'm not putting it through pre-processing or anything like that. I wasn't sure if doing that would change the actual image and not allow this to become a stereogram. So I just dropped it into Xtool Studio as the JPEG and told it to process it that way. Here's the result. Again, if you pause the video at this point, you should be able to make this pop. It might take a little longer. I had a little trouble figuring out how many people were actually able to see stereograms. The only requirement is that you have depth perception. I have found that a lot of people struggle to make them actually work. I actually have a Facebook group that I'm a part of, and so I probably see two or three stereograms a day. For me, I don't even see the code anymore. It's just blonde, brunette, redhead. Now Mrs. Brown has a lot of trouble with them on the computer screen, like she just can't make them work. This, in person, she actually had better luck with and she said it was because she was able to sort of manipulate this. You know, if you're from the 90s like I am, you probably spent a lot of time in poster shops and just hanging around the mall looking at these and so your brain kind of just knows how to go back to that. Uh, if you've never done them before and you're interested in it, there's a couple techniques one of them is to just kind of blur your eyes over like you're on the, you know, the last hour of lecture in your math class and you're trying to read your book and it's just not working and you just kind of blur your eyes over. Uh, I've heard of people putting it really close to their face and then slowly moving it away and having that work. There's also folks that say blinking multiple times helps. So maybe one of those things will help you get it. 
If you've never seen them, I definitely think it's worth a few minutes of your time to give it a shot. Given the fact that I can make a stereogram on my laser, and now that I have a laser can produce a two foot by three foot version of these, I think I might have something I'll be hanging on my wall soon. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you next time.